In Thailand, the river tea, but nine months before I came over here. So. When I came in United States in 1976, I didn't have nothing left just me, my wife, and my two kids. We didn't have nothing left, we only got the clothes on our back. And I tried to teach all my kids to never give up. Follow their dream. Uh, my family is from the country of Laos. However, our traditions, our customs, our clothing, our heritage, our language is, is actually derived from an ethnic or indigenous people of Laos called Kumut. One of the things I find about interesting about my family's culture, the Kumut people, is that they've, over the centuries, maintained their traditional culture, their own language, their customs, their beliefs, their own identity. Well, I kind of lie over here, tell them more freedom that you can be for you want to be in this country, not like our own country. You cannot be what you want to be at all. You know, I'm definitely fortunate to be raised by my, uh, raised and taught my, by my parents, you know, uh, and equally as lucky to be born in the United States. Uh, so I do take everything they give me and try to honor them by living through the same values and principles and just being humble and having that grit uh, that, you know, that was required of them to make it to where they're at, and to give us, us, us children of their, you know, their children, um, a better opportunity and just uh, better life. Period. Well, I think so. over here it's a lot better because there's so many uh, cultures, so many people come from this different world. So we can meet each other here. This is the best place I can be. Yeah. No, oh, I absolutely think it's great that we respect and honor each other's cultures. If we all thought alike, looked alike, dressed alike, we'd all think alike. I think it's very beneficial that we do have these uh, National Heritage Months to uh, recognize uh, various, various peoples across the world.